I can not believe this. We are doing our annual Academy Awards predictions. That's right. It is the 2024 Academy Awards predictions. Of course, I have my participators for this year um, to be doing these predictions with me. I always look forward to doing the Oscar predictions every single year. I'm always excited to see um, what everyone predicts, which ones we're going to get right, which ones we're going to get wrong. Um, and, you know, we kind of make a fun little game out of this. And I think that's the best part of the year. And, of course, at the end of the day, this really is all for fun and games. We could get competitive and all that stuff. But it really is just all in the fun. I am 22 Tiger Dude, a.k.a. Tony, with the Tiger Power over here. And before we get further into the video, I'm going to enter Doza. Um, I am excited. Um, this time, I am going to be writing on paper because uh, Dribble Doc takes up a lot of space, <clears throat> I know. It's, I might as well go old school. Actually, this is the menu for IHOP. Did anyone notice that? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, oh, yeah. Um, you never know what these predictions could do. Sometimes there might be a reverse Uno card. I got 14 in, out of the, everything else in 2022 20, and 15 out of everything else last year. So we'll see. I'm, I am excited for my predictions. So, yeah. Next one up we got here is Jackson Bulcher. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm very excited. Um, I, I don't remember how exactly I did <laughs> the last couple times. It's just always fun to do this and see where everyone's heads are at Oscar-wise. And I'm really excited to go through this once again and then come back at some point to do the results. But this is, this is going to be a fun, it's going to be a show. Oh, yeah, it will be a show of the century. The <laughs> next one that we have is Henry Ewing. Yay, happy Valentine's Day. We're here Thanks, baby. to do an Oscar prediction set. <laughs> yeah, who's going to get gold? You, baby. Okay. And next one up we got here is... The fake duck lover himself, Andrew Hayes. Oh, oh, hey, that was cool. Um, yeah, I always have uh, tons of fun doing this video. You know, I was telling them before how it's always funny to me how I, uh, you know, I, every year I'm convinced this is the year I'm going perfect, and then I just end up getting like eight right or some shit like that. I'm but, scared that's gonna happen to me for some reason, but it's always fun. Let's do this. And then uh, one of our usual participators could not make it here, but he is still going to be involved with the predictions. Uh, Diego Coya. I have a video from him just for him to say like a little bit of something. So even though he won't be here on this year's uh, predictions, his spirit will very much still carry on, if that very much makes sense. But here is a little video that Diego sent me. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Diego Coya. Usually I am on these Oscar prediction videos, but tonight I will not be there. I am excited for this year's Oscars for a couple of reasons. Number one, I think I'm going to do a lot better than I did last year. Last year I was in last place, but this year I'm pretty confident. Another reason is because I believe this is Christopher Nolan's year. Christopher Nolan's my favorite director. I think he's going to win his Oscar finally. I think Oppenheimer is going to win Best Picture. Uh, like I said, I won't be there tonight, but Tony's going to be um, showing what my predictions are. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the video. Everyone in this video, they usually do a good job um, sharing their predictions. And they're just a lot of fun to watch. So um, yeah, I hopefully I'll be there next year. But um, yeah, I, Tony said that there's going to be some sort of bet. So I'm hoping that I get first place or at least in the top three. So yeah, thank you guys. What a god amongst men. Cats. Yeah, what a god. What a god. 
Thank you, Diego. I will be marking Diego's predictions as we go on, you know, with our categories. And then just to mention everyone, Jordan Farrell will be here. It is running late, but you will see Jordan Farrell later on in the video. But without further ado, of course, it is that time, y'all, where we get started. Hell yeah. Can everyone see the screen? Yes. All right. So the first one we got here is actor in a leading role. So we got Bradley Cooper for Maestro, Coleman Domingo for Rustin, Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, and Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction. And I know for a good while, it was like a tight race between Paul and Killian, but with the awards that have been going on lately, I feel like it is for sure going to be Killian's win. So that'll be my prediction. And then to mark uh, Diego's uh, prediction, uh, he also predicts Killian. So let me mark that down for Diego. Same here. Killian. Uh, I I will also be doing Killian Murphy. I'm with Killian Murphy as well. Walk. Oh, that's around this one. Hey, uh, who remembers when there was that short like time period where a lot of people thought it was going to be Bradley Cooper? Mm. <laughs> I laid that off, and then everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Killian. Yeah. Love you, Bradley. Oh, Cooper. Right. Rock a raccoon. See the gif of a very moment clapping at one of the shows? Yeah. yeah. All right. Next one up we got here is actor in a supporting role. So we got Sterling K. Brown for American Fiction, Robert De Niro for Killers of the Far Moon. Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer, Ryan Gosling for Barbie, and Mark Ruffalo for Poor Things. Now, for my prediction, I think this win is indeed going to go to Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. And for Diego, uh, he also marked down Robert Downey Jr. So let me get that. Oh. Imagine, imagine all of our predictions are the same one I wrote down. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> uh, Iron Man himself, Robert Daddy. <clears throat> um, I will be going with Robert Downey. <laughs> oh, <Sorry. nice. laughs> Imagine I'm you just said Robert De Niro. Yeah, that's that's my upset for this prediction. Yeah. Actually, I'm going with Robert Redford. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'd put Robert Downey's son, Robert Downey Jr. Amazing. Yeah, it feels like this has been Robert Downey Jr.'s award to lose into like so yeah, him. Oh, it's actually the I'm gonna pick Robert Pattinson. Actually, I can't think of any other Roberts. <laughs> All right, next one up we got here is actress in a leading role. So we got Annette Bening for Nyad, Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon, Sandra Holler. I hope that's how you pronounce her name for Anatomy of a Fall. Carrie Mulligan for Maestro, and Emma Stone for Poor Things. Oh, boy. So I know it's been a tight race between Lily and Emma. Um, I could definitely see the award going to any other one of them, so I had to think with this one. But I do think uh, with the amount of love that Lily has gotten and for her to um, you know, make history, uh, I think she will take home the award for this one. And then for Diego, uh, let's see. 
Diego is predicting Emma Stone. I'm going with Lily. You know, as much as I would love to uh, give Annette Benning this win, obviously, because we all love Nyad. We all love Nyad. Um, I did watch it. I think, yeah, I think, I, I think just because of the, yeah, the what you were saying, Tony, the, the history stuff and, and also winning SAG, I think it'll be Lily Gladstone. She'll be very glad you made that stone. <laughs> I mean, Quite no matter that. who wins, we're all going to get stoned, but I want to hey. be Gladstone, so I'm going with Lily Gladstone. I read, I saw an interview, I think she said high school, uh, most likely to win an Oscar. That's what I heard. Oh, nice. High school musical. High school musical? Okay. <laughs> True. I uh, I mean, for a while, this felt like it was Emma Stone's award, but then recently, like Lily Gladstone has been getting a lot of like momentum. Uh, it still feels like fifty fifty to me, uh, but I won't mm, yeah. be predicting the tie. I just feel it in my gut that this is uh going to be Lily Gladstone. All right. Next one up we got here is actress in a supporting role. So we got. Emily Blunt, Oppenheimer, Danielle Brooks, The Color Purple, America Ferreira, Barbie, Jodie Foster, Nyad, and Divine, Divine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. Uh, I think for me, um, I think it's definitely going to go Divine Joy Randolph. And then for Diego, he also predicts Divine Joy Randolph. Same here. Look, I'd love to give this to Jodie Foster because you know we, we all love Nyad. We all love Nyad. Don't forget, we all love it. But it's it's I I, I gotta go with uh, Divine Joy Randolph. I'm gonna be blunt and say Divine Joy Randolph is gonna win. <laughs> Oh my god! You got me. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was good. That was good. I didn't even see it coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, did find Jordan Randolph. All right. Next one up we got here is Anime of Feature. So we got The Boy and the Heron, Elemental. Nimona, Robot Dreams, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So, I think things are definitely sticky with Mr. Spider-Man himself. Yeah. So, that is my prediction. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I am so sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Then, oh, yeah, you're right. I, re I regret nothing. I regret nothing. Oh, my God. And then... And then for Mr. Diego, uh, also Spider-Man. TD Ameritrade. The Boy and the Heron. That's my pick. <clears throat> um, I think it could have gone either way with the <clears throat> both of these films. Um, but I think I'm going to be sticking with Spider-Man uh, this time around just because of the Annie Awards uh, one big there. Uh, shout out to Suzume, uh, though. It should be here. Yeah. Now, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're sticking to your prediction, Jackson. Oh, you did it. <laughs> I mean, where, where that? Tell me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm also sticking with Spidey. Where's Ratatouille? They forgot Ratatouille. I know, right? Yeah, this uh, again. Um, I think like similar to uh, best actress. It, it's a two movie race. Uh, felt like for a while it was gonna be the boy of the heron to me, but I, now I'm just feels like it's gonna be Spider Man. Mm. 
next one up we got here is cinematography. So we got El Conde, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. And for me, I do believe that Oppenheimer will win cinematography. And then for Diego, let me double check his very quick. He also predicts Oppenheimer. Why is it bad? How are you talking about Oppenheimer? Yeah, uh, I got to go with those huge ass IMAX cameras for Oppenheimer. Nah, <laughs> it was shown with my old Sony camcorder, actually. Yeah. It's going to be Oppy, baby. Yeah. Oppenheimer. Why not, Barb Why not Barbenheimer? Do both. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't they competing together? <laughs> yeah. Imagine us. That's why oh, we're actually competing. Okay, next one up we got is costume design. So we got Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon Dynamite. I'm just kidding, Napoleon. Oppenheimer no. and poor things. <laughs> okay, so uh, this one, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This one for me, I had to really think kind of hard with this one. It's like I know they could give it to something like Barbie, but then I know they could give it to something like poor things, at least for what I've gathered. Um, it's like a 50 50 thing. But I think for me, at least as far as costumes go, I feel like they're going to aim towards Barbie with the costumes. So that's going to be my prediction. And then let me just check Diego's very quick. And then Diego predicts uh, poor things. Go <laughs> with Barbie. Yeah, um, I'm also going to go Barbie just because they're recreating those iconic doll outfits. And I think they, they, they love to see it. You'll love to see it. And I, and I think because of like the variety of like the outfits they made like throughout the movies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I'm going with the Barb of Barbenheimer. Um, this is one that I, I feel like I, I, and every, every, every few, every, well, every year there's a, a couple of awards that it's just, I feel like I'm always on the fence about, um, and you know, I feel like it can go either way. I feel like obviously like I agree with, uh, you know, the thought of why Barbie could win and why poor things could win. And, you know, it feels like poor things it's just something that they would give it over. It just feels like a very, like, Oscar thing to do to reward poor things. So I think I'm going with poor things. All right. Not a bad prediction. Not a bad prediction. All right. Next one up we got here is directing. So we got Justine Tritt. Sorry if I butchered that. For Anatomy of a Fall, Killers of the Flower Moon by Martin Scorsese, Oppenheimer by Christopher Nolan, Poor Things by Yorgos Lanthimos, and The Zone of Interest by Jonathan Glazer. And uh, for me, I do think Mr. Nolan himself will be taking home director. And uh, Diego... And Diego also predicts, predicts him for a director. I know it pains you not to say zone of interest, Tony. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I was yeah, man. I was really rooting for a zone of interest, you know? Just I'm going with Christopher Robin. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Mark um, Forrester, what are you doing here? <laughs> 
you and McGregor, you're not, you're not up for anything. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll also do Oppenheimer. Yeah. I agree. It's Nolan time. Mm-hmm. They should give Scorsese Marvel Oscar if he won. <laughs> you have an Iron Man stuff. Yeah, it again, like a, a couple of the words we talked about. It, it just feels like it's been a, a one person race this like since Oppenheimer came out in July. So it has never been more uh, Nolan's time. <laughs> yeah. Next one up we got here is documentary feature film. So we got Bobby Bobby Wine, the People's President, the Eternal Memory, four dog. Four daughters. Four dogs? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, four dogs. Yeah, four dogs. Right. But yeah, four daughters. To kill a tiger. I don't know why they would want to kill me. Mm, but okay. How dare they? Offensive. I know. And 20 Days and Mario Pole. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, you know, normally I don't really have a not, lot of knowledge when it comes to these kind of categories. Uh, obviously, I always look at what gets like the most momentum, and I noticed Twenty Days and Marty Pull is getting like the most momentum. So that's gonna be um, my prediction. And then let me see Diego's very quick. See Diego's what? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow! Just wow! <laughs> And then this is also Diego's prediction. <laughs> That's my prediction too. Uh, yeah, I've seen all of these for sure. Um, uh, I, 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 same, same logic as Tony. I'll go with twenty days. I will also be spending twenty days in Mariupol. Better her these until that I wrote them down. Yeah, what everybody else said. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> My favorite two because I have absolutely no knowledge to base them off of, and I literally just go off of like who people said on like fucking the internet. <laughs> I know what I That's need. true. Yeah. I'm like, what did Vanity Fair predict? That's what I need. Because they yeah. probably know better than me, maybe. Oh. Next one up we got here is makeup and hairstyling. So we got Golda, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and Society of the Snow. And I think obviously from what I've heard of Maestro, because I do still need to see that as I'm recording this video, um, but from all the makeup work that I've heard was done with that movie and all the momentum behind it, I do think if that doesn't win, poor things could be like the upset. But I think Maestro is going to be the one that will take home the award, though. And then Diego is the same way. First time saying in this video, but poor things. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I will go with uh, Maestro, because look at how much Bradley Cooper doesn't look like himself. <laughs> I'm going with episode three of season seven of Seinfeld, The Maestro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't <laughs> Um, yeah, Maestro also feels, like in this category, feels like a very Oscar thing to do. Like, just give it to Maestro. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Maestro. Next one up we got here is documentary shorts. So, oh. we got the ABCs of book banning, The Barber of Little Rock, Island in Between, The Last Repair Shop, and Nine Nine and Wipo. Oh my god, it's okay, Spider-Man. Uh, Jordan Farrell. Jordan Farrell Hello, just everyone. came in right now. Welcome, hey. Jordan. 
<laughs> Hello, I am sorry for... Here's what happened, uh, and Tony can vouch on me on this. You see, I was kidnapped by the Disney Mafia because Mickey Mouse did not like what I was about to do tonight. And Tony's been mm. spending most of this time negotiating with the Disney Mafia, and they finally mm. set me free. And I think, uh, Tony, you were too late because they beat me to death. I was um, drinking... Uh, the piss of Donald Duck's urine off of Pluto's bowl. Oh, and oh yeah, and I don't know, Tony. Like, was it worth it? Was it worth me drinking piss, Tony? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> luckily the Disney Mafia has set me free, but uh, I may be free, but my scars are still here. What did you do, Jordan? Did you try to unionize? Uh, worse, worse. I tried to speak for workers' rights. Oh, yeah, how dare you? What are you doing that for? Oh, no. How dare, how dare I get a decent wage? Wait a minute. Where's Bob well, Iger? Well, Jordan, I was going to say my plan might have failed, but still, welcome to the predictions video, my friend. You're welcome, my friend. Uh, but going on to my prediction... Uh, obviously, as I was saying, I don't have a, knowledge, a lot of knowledge when it comes to this category. So this is the one where I always have to look at what's getting the most momentum. Um, I know I hear a little bit about 99 White Po and even the ABCs of book banning. I've heard some for, but I feel like of all the ones, the last repair shop might be the more Oscar, I guess, safer bet. They might go with, at least from what I'm gathering. So... That's going to be my prediction, and Diego also predicts that one to win as well. I'm going with Nine the last one mentioned. And why Poe? Yeah, why Poe. Uh, I will be going with <clears throat> the ABCs of book banning, because that's still happening for some reason. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Oh, we have our um, first, uh, I guess, split right here. Very split. <laughs> yep. Can't wait for the sequel, Glass. Aww. <laughs> oh, my <I'm>, God. <laughs> and I'm also going with ABCs of book banning. Ooh. Me, too. Well, our first split. ABC's uh, book banning? Ah, uh, yes. Come on, Andrew. This one? Okay. Yeah, Andrew, you gotta be more specific, my dude. Yeah, be more Pacific, like the ocean. Yeah. <clears throat> Pacific, yes. <laughs> and then, uh, Jordan. I will also go with the ABC's of book banning because, to me, that is still relevant. Funny enough, uh, a town next door to me tried to do that as well, but they call it a removal. Ugh. Yuck. Wow. Disgusting. My first split category. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yummy. <clears throat> Pretty exciting. Our next one up we got here is editing. <clears throat> so we got Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer and Poor Things. And uh, for me, I do think it will go to Oppenheimer. And same with Diego Coya. That was the flower moon. <clears throat> That's Ooh. Um, I will be going with Mrs. Lame Oppenheimer. I mean, yeah, Jennifer will not be lame when she wins. What the um, heck? <laughs> y'all are, are killing it with these puns tonight. Good try. Uh, yeah, Oppenheimer. Oh, man, do I dare make this joke? <laughs> Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to be approaching Jennifer's body for best film editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I have a Twitter account the next day. 
we've had a discussion. You're out. <laughs> Elon Musk. Sorry, this is too far even for me. Next one up we got here is the original score. So we got American Fiction, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. And uh, once again, I think the award is going to go to Up. Oppenheimer, and same thing with Diego. I'm not gonna lie, Tony. Your like thing like kind of like froze for me for a second. So when you said Oppenheimer, it sounded like you said up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? I'm gonna wow. go for it. I'm gonna pick a tenant, actually. I mean Oppenheimer. So. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, up uh, the movie that was nominated in 2009 is definitely going to win this. Yeah, that already won. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to win again. Um, yeah, real quick, time travel. Real quick, we got to stop giving John Williams these pity nominations, um, but I'm going to go with Oppenheimer this time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to pick Revenge of the Sith, Ashley Jackson. No! No! <laughs> Was that nominated? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going with Ludwig Gorenson because I can't hear the music. It's a quote from the movie. You guys are really sleeping. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm going to Oppenheimer. Barbenheimer. I'm going to go with Joe Hisaishi for Born the Heron. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, what about... Uh, 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 I guess we'll go with Oppenheimer. All right. Next one up we got is original song. So we got The Fire Inside by Flamin' Hot. I just can from Barbie and never went away from American Symphony. Uh, was a was I he a song for my people from Killers of the Far Moon? Um, and what was I made for from Barbie? <clears throat> All right, so uh, to me, uh, I think it's definitely a, the battle between two Barbie songs right here. Um, I actually did have my prediction marked for I'm Just Ken at first, but then seeing the momentum that What Was I Made For has been getting, it's definitely been very clear to me at least that the award is going to go to Billie Eilish. So that would mean that she will win her second Oscar after her Oscar win for No Time to Die. And then let me check the angles very quick. Okay, and Diego also has What Was I Made For? Pulling in version and going with I'm Just Ken. I, I would love for it to be I'm Just Ken. Love Ryan Gosling. Can't wait to see him perform it live. But I think I think the it's Academy iconic song. Voters, yeah, I think the Academy voters will probably gear more towards the the serious number. What was I made for? Yes, I'm also going with Billy's eyelashes. What? <laughs> <laughs> It will win this award, but for what was I made for? I hear I see on TikTok and everything. I still. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Tony, um, Indigenous person right here. It's pronounced Wazahi. Oh um, yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew it was butchering that Jordan. Just you know, I was like, I know I butchered that. So yeah, okay, but is it Wazahi? Wazahi? Yeah, the Z, the Z part. All right. Of uh, but I'm, oh, okay. But hey, you. but hey, Tony, what was I made for? By the way, that's my pick. Solid. Ooh, that was Solid. a smooth transition right there. Wow. 
<laughs> Interesting that you've heard we have so these categories. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, this one is interesting. Um, obviously, I'll get to in the moment why, but we have production design. So we got Barbie, Killers of the Far Moon, Napoleon Dynamite once again, Oppenheimer, and Four Things. Now, this is similar to what I just said earlier about costume design, how I feel it's a battle between uh, Barbie and poor things because it could really go either way with the academy and i had to do like a lot of thinking when it really came to that um but because i gave barbie my costume design prediction i think it's only fair to do it the other way around so after doing hard thinking i will go towards poor things to take home the production design uh category and then Diego predicts Barbie. I picked Barbie as well. Uh, since, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh my God, I'm dying over here. Um, since it won, uh, like <laughs> oh, a. No. Since it won like a set designer award recently, um, I'm I'm leaning towards poor things. Same as you, Tony. Look at that. Ooh. We're the same guy. Yeah. Hi, we got I am. Team oh, Barbie things now. I am not going oh, no. with rich things. I'm going with <laughs> poor things. This feels like the showdown <laughs> of the Oscars. <laughs> like <laughs> movies of the boxing round. Boxing Greg. <laughs> hey, you want to fight? <laughs> um. Yeah, similar with costume design, like I was very on the fence between obviously four things and Barbie, but uh, yeah, I'm going with Barbie for this one. All right, it's even, even, Jordan. Which t which team are you joining with this prediction? Which team are you siding with, Jordan? Team Barbie, baby. All right. Damn. And this is how Captain. Damn, America's I was I was hoping to have a fourth. I, yeah. I was hoping to have a fourth person for the poor things prediction. Dang! Imagine Jordan <laughs> picks one of the other ones. <laughs> he went with Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> that would, that would have been so cool. funny. I'm gonna go with the most historically yeah. inaccurate movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like they have a so yeah. Jordan was awesome. Jordan is like. Yeah, Jordan is like, poor things and Barbie. No, Napoleon's got this in the bag, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <It does. laughs> Remember when Little Women had a hydro flask in the background one shot? Remember that? Game of Thrones, oh, Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Next one up we got here is International Feature. So the first one we got is Oi. Capitano from Italy. I am so sorry to the Italians if I butchered it's that. It's a me, Capitano. I, I, oh no! <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. I think I, I know Capitano. Maybe I don't know. Perfect days, Japan. Society of the Snow, Spain. The Teachers Lounge, Germany, and the Zone of Interest, United Kingdom. All right, that's where you got it wrong, Tony. It's the Zune of Einterreist. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, no. Definitely. Definitely the correct way to pronounce it. Definitely. Look, it's Tony's favorite. So, it's my uh, cat. Sorry. Okay. Just, hey, okay. You want to say hi to everybody? Hey, you want to say hi to everybody? Hello, kitty. Even though I can't Hello. see you because I'm on Photoshop. <laughs> I'm on Photoshop, so I can't see you. You'll see it when you're eating. All right, here you go. Yeah, that's true. You're free now. I know, obviously, the zone of interest has gotten a lot of love um, for the filmmaking style and obviously the sound design and all that. So no doubt, I do think the zone of interest will take home the award. And uh, Diego predicts the zone of interest as well. The zone of interest, that's my pick. I mean, out of these five, there's only one that's also nominated for Best Picture, so I'll go with The Zone of Interest. 
and there, and yeah, and there's that to the consider. Yeah. yeah. I'm going with Anatomy of a Fall. Oh wait. <laughs> <That's>... Oh no! <laughs> not that one. <laughs> It's not here. Yeah. I was gonna say, Harry, the way my dumbass was gonna get ready to mark it until I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be Zone of hey, There you go. <laughs> oh my god. I, I feel like the, the past, like, you, years since, like, Roma was nominated, it's this has been, like, one of the easier ones because I feel like each year since, like, Roma, it's there has been. One international feature nominated for best picture, so it makes it pretty obvious that it's zone of interest. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I mean, I hope it captures your zone of interest, Tony. Oh my God, Jordan! <laughs> Bananas. Yeah, I'll just say this for those that. Want to know my thoughts on Zone of Interest? Just go on Letterbox. I'll just leave it at that. Just go on my Letterbox. Next one up we got here is live action short film. So we got The After, Invincible, not to be mixed up with the Mark Wahlberg movie, Night of Fortune, Red, White, and Blue, and The Wonderful Story of Henry Ewing. I mean Sugar. Oh, yeah. All right. So... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Henry was with you on biopics, my man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, but 100%, um, with full confidence, I do think this is Wes Anderson's win. And Diego is the same way. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Uh, invincible. I don't know what's happening. So that's your prediction? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Imagine Tony, Brian says Invincible, but you cut to the Invincible title card from the Amazon <laughs> show. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh yes! The first team each other be dominated here. Yeah. I will be going with Henry Sugar. Sorry, Henry. Not you. Sorry. <laughs> I thought the movie Hardcore th- Henry was on here. <clears throat> I think that this is how Wes Anderson gets his Oscar. Sorry, Bad Cabbage Patch. Is that the one? I uh, also think this is how Wes Anderson gets his Oscar. I was sad going to present. Crazy how he's never won an Oscar. Wait, what happened? It's true. But Adam Sandler shows up and he's the one that says, This is how I went instead. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I was going to say, crazy that Wes Anderson has never won an Oscar. That's like crazy to think of. It is kind of wild, isn't it? I, I know he won at some point, but no. Did he? Maybe my imagination is happening. I'll Google it. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'll also go for my homeboy, Wes Anderson. Nominated has never won, so there you go, Ryan. Okay, next one up we got here is sound. So for sound, we got the creator, Maestro, Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One, Oppenheimer, and the Zone of Interest. So. I think for me, um, the interesting thing is I know the zone of interest has gotten a lot of like talk from like its sound design and all that. So I know. So if Oppenheimer, let's say, doesn't win, I could see the zone of interest being an upset. But I still do believe overall uh, it's more of a shoe in for the Oscars to go for Oppenheimer to win sound design. So that is my prediction. And that is also Diego Coya's prediction. I'm going with Dune Part. Oh wait, that's mm. next year. The Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Next, next year. year. Same sound mixer of Oppenheimer worked on Dune. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah. Um, dun 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 dun. Going with Oppenheimer. 
Sorry. Uh, it's uh, Oppenheimer. That was perfect. That Thank was you. Perfect. I will also go with the bomb. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. The love guru is not on this list. <laughs> Where is the artist? I mean the love I mean the love guru does have the most top tier sound design ever, so what the hell? Yeah, of course. Loquisha is not on here. Ugh. Um yeah. Ah! On this. Hmm? Oh, go ahead, Andrew. I said yeah, Oppenheimer's gonna win this. Where's battleship? Hmm. Oppenheimer. Uh, Okay, everyone. Next one up we got here is animated short film. So we got Letter to a Pig, the 90, 95 Census, Our Uniform, pa Pachi, Pachi Dermid, Pachi Dermid. Um, yeah, once again, sorry if I butchered that. And then War is Over, inspired by the music of John and Yoko. All right. So... For this one, obviously, one of those categories where I don't have, like, a lot of knowledge of. Normally, I try to watch the animated short films, but not all of them were, like, accessible for me to, like, watch this year. But hopefully sometime down the line, I can get around to watching these. Um, but as far as what I see kind of gain, like, a lot of attention, um, I see Letter to a Pig getting some. I've seen even some for 95 Senses. I think of the one that has the possible momentum to take momentum to take home the trophy. Uh, at least for me, I think it will be for War is Over. So that is my prediction. And then for Diego's prediction, he predicts 95 census. I got 95 census for that pick. Well, that wasn't quite, I swear. <laughs> 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 uh, hand me a pen because I'm going to write a letter to a pig La nice nice okay. thank you thank you thank you thank you I'm also writing letter to a pig you want to you binge watch Peppa Pig Little. now there's two letters to a pig Little piggy, little piggy, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Shit. <laughs> Three. Well, let me finish writing this letter to a cop, I mean pig. Controversial. <laughs> what? We got a nice split. Let's <laughs> cats. Wow. Wow. That, that is interesting. I am the only one going with war is over, so I'm very curious who's gonna win this category on Sunday. You're picking now. the celebrity okay. one, Tony. How fucking mainstream of you. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. How dare I? God. Next one up we got here is visual effects. So for visual effects, we got the creator, Godzilla minus one, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part One. <clears throat> And Napoleon, and uh, shoot, man, I had to real think real hard about this one because it's like I know Godzilla minus one could get it because of all the amazing visuals that I've heard about with that movie. Um, but then when I'm thinking about like what's the Academy maybe looking a little more for. Um, I could also see like the creator gain it too. So it's been like a constant like back and forth for me. But I guess in my heart, um, because I'm trying to read what the Academy is thinking, um, as much as part of me wants to lean towards Godzilla minus one, I I'm probably gonna take the wild card and just say the creator, because I feel like between the two, that's probably like the more safer bet. So that's my prediction. And then Diego predicts Godzilla minus one. Going with Godzilla minus one. 
um, the Visual Effects Society Awards uh, gave some surprise, or not surprising, but just uh, some love to the creator. And I feel like that's going to carry over in this instance. Although I would love a Rocket Raccoon to get some recognition, but you know. That's a, that's actually why what made me decide to go with the creator too, because of like what you said, the Society Awards. Oh, I'm go ahead, going with Oppenheimer. Oh wait, that's not. No. <laughs> well, there there was no visual effects. They did it all for real. Oh yeah. Oh no. All of it was. Real. <laughs> oh yeah, they blew up Canada. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, uh, Canada's no more. <laughs> All right, I will be subtracting one from Godzilla as well. <laughs> what? Oh dear God! <laughs> oh my God! Um, I'm going with Godzilla. Another split category. Well, I think Canada is going to ha experience their own Godzilla minus one, which is going to be this cat pick. This might be the most joking recording in a while. <laughs> you got to give the people something to watch. Yeah. What do we do, SNL? Sorry, I fly. We're getting closer uh, to finishing the predictions, but we got now original screenplay. So for original screenplay, we got Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Maestro, May, December, and <clears throat> Past Lives. So um, I did. I thought for the longest time maybe The Holdovers is going to win this. At least that's what I thought for most of this award season until I saw these awards giving it to Anonymy of a Fall for original screenplay. So even though I thought maybe Holdovers is going to win it, I think it's very, very clear that Anonymy is going to win this. So that is my prediction. And then for Diego's prediction, also Anonymy of a Fall. Now they will fall. It's a big disappointment the Writers Guild didn't have their awards yet. Uh, it's hard to make a prediction That's without true. them. But um, I just based off of, an, man, Anatomy of a Fall missed the international category, but they made up for it for nominating for damn near a lot else. So I, I think it's got a lot more support than you'd expect. So I'm going with that, Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, I just want to say very quick, Jackson. Oh, go ahead, Henry. Sorry. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, Jackson. When I was looking at all the awards, I found it weird that the Writers Guild did not even happen yet. Like, what? It's happening in yeah. April. <laughs> April. Weird. What? Yeah. First, uh, yeah, for okay. some reason, it's not happening until April. So, yeah. Yeah. The season's over. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, weird. Yeah. I mean, the joke's on y'all because there are no original screenplays anymore. Oh, oh, oh that's right. right. We got them. It's all IP. Yeah, but yes, I think it will be the anatomy of a fall. For, uh, I agree with Tony for like a while. It kind of like seemed like it could be the holdovers, uh, especially when that was getting um, a little bit of best picture buzz that maybe it could upset Oppenheimer, but then uh, it just feels like it died off when Anatomy of the Fall won the Golden Globe, and it's just been Anatomy of the since. Anatomy of the Fall. We are at the category before we get to the big one, which is Best Picture. And now we got Adapted Screenplay. So for Adapted Screenplay, we got American Fiction, Barbie, <clears throat> Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. Um, obviously, with this one, I was thinking, okay, maybe they might want to give us something like Poor Things or... 
Oppenheimer or even maybe Zone of Interest a little bit. But I think it's very clear, at least when it comes to this category, the one that has been getting the most love, the one that's been getting like the most momentum is American Fiction. So I think this is the only award this movie is going to really take home uh, this Sunday night. So that's going to be my prediction. And then Diego's prediction is Oppenheimer. American fiction. Um, I have to stick with what I usually go by, even though it's not always true, but usually whatever wins best picture will also nab a screenplay one. And I can't see how Oppenheimer misses that. So I'm going with Oppenheimer for this one, baby. Yeah, I think that given what, how much Oppenheimer is going to win, I think it will win screenplay as well. I feel like th- this should be a shoe in and it should be Oppenheimer, but like, I don't know. Like, I-, I feel like because it's not like a sure fire bet that Oppenheimer is going to win, that. Like, it might not win. Like, I'm just kind of getting flashbacks right now of, like, when Get Out won. Like, The Shape of Water, (laughs) Best Picture, didn't win that year. And, like, there are cases where, like, yeah, it just, the the, the screenplay doesn't win. Like, I don't, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't remember Coda winning screenplay. Uh, And, like, I just feel like uh, it could be Barbie. But I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to say American Fiction. And also, the thing I notice about, it's always interchangeable with some years. Um, obviously, before that, they are set predictions. Because I noticed some years, um, whatever wins one of the screenplay categories is an automatic like, best picture win. Yeah, But then yeah. some years, if it's not the screenplay, it's the director So at least for me, in the case of this year, I think it's more like the director. And so because I'm predicting Christopher Nolan to win um, director, obviously it'll kind of leave what we'll talk about when we get to picture. So yeah, at least for me in this case, I think it's more like the director and the best picture, like kind of matching, like for this year. Yeah. Kind of like... Also, too, like La La Land or like like Coda, like I said, like I don't really remember Coda winning. Coda, Coda lost to Power of the Dog, and then it won Best Picture. So yeah, you're, like, so you're like, right. Uh, it gave like the three things that could have won Best Picture was Belfast, Power of the Dog, and Coda, and they ended up giving screenplay and director to not Coda, and then Coda ended up winning. And same thing even with like uh, 2016, like La La Land. And and moonlight or like the two, and it feels like they kind of just all that air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, I mean, I could also see them giving it to Barbie. Like I was actually between Barbie and Oppenheimer. Could be this like something big, and they could give it to Barbie. But I just feel like the momentum for American Fiction is too strong for the Academy to kind of just like ignore right now. Yeah. I can see it, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going for Oppenheimer, though. (laughs) 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 Got both the J names here. I I, I just tried it. I find so funny how after me and Andrew give like our points why we give our prediction, Drama's like, you guys make very valid points, but I'm still going with Nolan, baby. <laughs> You're still wrong. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Sunday gonna go. <laughs> Feels like we're like voting for like, like let's say like class president or something. <laughs> like yeah. I mean, when you were like, yeah, like like this person should win. And <laughs> the ballads. Valid points, and Jordan was like, "Ah, fuck your points." <laughs> it's a yeah. valid point. It's a valid point. But my friend Chris over here, yeah, <laughs> he's British, so he gets a pass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone. Now we are at the finale of all the Oscar categories. It is 
best picture. Yeah. So, of course, it's been 10 nominees the last couple of years. So we're going to go from American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Kills of Far Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Four Things, and The Zone of Interest. Um, now, most times with Best Picture, it's normally like a tight race between like the two categories, maybe sometimes even the three. But I do think at least with this year, it's like very, very clear, at least to me, what the Best Picture winner is going to be, especially with what I said, who I predicted for director. So because I predicted Christopher Nolan for director, as pretty much everyone else is, I do think that also means Oppenheimer is the Best Picture winner, and Christopher Nolan is going to be the Academy Award winner, baby. And Diego predicts the same thing. No, of course he did. <laughs> I'm going with uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King, actually. Even though mm. it won 20 years ago. Okay, okay. I'll be hurt. Mm. No, actually, Titanic. Mm. <laughs> um, I know what you're like, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with... I'm going to do the same as Brian and Diego and Tony and probably everyone else. I'm going to do Oppenheimer. <laughs> Actually, I'm going with the Iron Claw across the Spider Verse. <sighs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> no, it's just going to be a oh my god! Driver. I'm going with uh, Ghost in the Shell. Oh wait. Um, yeah. with this like year, like for Best Picture at least, feels funny because like like some years, like last year, I feel like we all unanimously like all agreed that it was going to be everything, everywhere, all at once. And then you have some years like, like you know, when Parasite won. Some people thought it was going to be Parasite. Some people thought 1917. Some people thought Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it, it just, yeah, it, like like I said before, it always just felt like once Oppenheimer came out, that it's like, all right, like, cool, like, it's this. For a while, I know there was a little bit like, oh, maybe the holdovers will upset it. But like it, w it never got that serious. And maybe like a little bit of anatomy of a fall got a little bit of buzz, but it was never, again, never anything that serious. It, it always was Oppenheimer, and I honestly, a hundred percent, would be shocked if it was anything other than Oppenheimer this year. It, you sure you don't want to give it to Maestro? Yeah, dude, they give it to Maestro. <laughs> <laughs> People are so crazy. Oh my god. Oh, or, 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 they, or, or they or they or are they pull the surprise that's the zone of interest <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd love that Tony like it, oh just, yeah give give them what his due and then uh whenever the the fucking critic comes out give Tarantino his due even though Tarantino's already won a couple Oscars but yeah it's time Tarantula Tarantula oh. Well, I'm going to drop a bomb and say Oppenheimer as well. Oh. He's going to commit a oh, war crime. He said bomb. I'm a bomby girl. Oh, yeah, Jordan. Since I know you arrived late, you want to give me the predictions you weren't able to give me earlier? Sure. Our actor in a leading role. I will say Paul Giamatti Titi. And I'm the only one. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh. He might. He might. You never know. I want another picture of him at In and Out. <laughs> I want to catch her in, in person eating In and Out. And be like, "Hey, man, I just watched the Oscars. Could you get the fuck out of my face?" Sure, man, <laughs> Monty. All right. Actor in a supporting role, Robert Downey Jr. for Iron Man Three. I mean Oppenheimer. Oh, <laughs> that would have been like ten years ago. <laughs> I made three. <laughs> Directed by Mel Gibson. Ooh, uh, don't think he did that. <laughs> no, <laughs> if Mel Gibson saw my mom, he'd probably call her a slur. If, mm, oh he, no, we do be doing that. <laughs> Actress in a leading role. Uh, I'm gonna go with my girl Lily Gladstone. Indigenous rights. Mel Gibson would call Lily Gladstone a slur too. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, he'd probably no. call her a war slur. Yeah, yeah. He'd go oh, all in. You know, John Wayne's probably rolling in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> He's smoking his 40 packs of cigarettes that he smokes a day, and he's like... <laughs> they're gonna bring, like, his coffin up on stage while, mm -hmm. while he's getting the Oscar. So, actress in a supporting role. Alright, I'm gonna butcher the probably name. Divine Joy Rudolph. Randolph, but close enough. Randolph. Okay. Like Grace Randolph. Oh, oh fuck. no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Best anime feature. It's gonna go to the boy and the heron because ah. um, I know I watched the Annie Awards, which is the animation awards, and mm -hmm. Spider Verse snagged a fuck ton of awards, yeah. including best film. But I think, given that the Golden Globes went to um, the boy and the heron, they're probably gonna give it to the boy and the heron as well. Miyazaki. Cinematography is going to go to Oppenheimer. It's a good safety impression. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if they do the bigger one? I just read, uh, I just read right now, Emily Blood's going to join this movie with The Rock. I just found oh. that out in real time. Well, oh, man. congrats. Jungle Twos. <laughs> 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 so best costume design hands down no question barbie birthday's a sequel to barbie correct <laughs> directing obviously obviously got himself christopher nolan christopher robin correction yeah. which christopher robin we're talking about the guy who was tortured to death in blood and honey or the little boy Oh, like yes. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna go with uh. Wow, I'm the only one here. Uh, to kill the tiger. <laughs> oh, Tony. You want to kill Tony? No, dude. Wow. <laughs> you're going. With, you're yeah, going and I'm like a documentary that about. wants to kill me. Wow. <laughs> it's Oscar nominated, Tony. You know I'm desperate to make money. Best makeup and hair design. I'm gonna join you, Brian. Poor things. Even though I haven't watched it. <laughs> You're going to watch it on Disney Plus. Hulu tomorrow. Disney Plus. Ah. Disney Plus Hulu. I want to watch all the fucking on Disney Plus, okay? Yeah. And there you go. Caught up. There we go. Okay, yes. we're all caught up. That was a lot of fun. As always, that was the 2024 Academy Awards. It was a a lot of fun to do all these predictions with all of my guests, my participators right here. Uh, thank you so much to everyone. I love hearing the ones that we uh, side on, the ones that we may be on a different level on. Be sure to just subscribe to my channel um, so you can keep up to date of when I upload a video. You can follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, even though I don't post there a lot. And I also got my Snapchat, Twitter. Um, I got Twitter as well, not the other name that some lord wants you to call it. Uh, thank you, Jackson, for the subtlety there. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, just follow me all there. Oh, and Letterbox too, of course. Follow me on Letterbox. You keep up with all of my movie activity, including my recent activity for the Zone of Interest, and go to my serialized as well. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone. I gave all of my guests their outro, starting off with everyone's favorite alien, not E.T., Brian Mendoza. You can find me in outro space, and I'm going to be saving the galaxy with Chris Pratt, I guess. Um, yeah, my link tree right there, just follow that link, I guess. <laughs> Eric Chris Nolan. Pratt is Mario. I should play Mario. That's the one my link tree. Or, I don't know, we can hang out on Tiny Weed, I guess. Meet me at the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jackson Fulcher, for joining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's another pleasure, another honor. I uh, had fun doing this. Can't wait to reunite 
at some point after the ceremony to see uh, who who won. And and maybe this time it will be Andrew. You can this find time, me on YouTube or Letterboxd. This time it'll be Cats. All right. Thank you, Henry thank, Ewing. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. You know where to find me on social media that will be linked in the description and yeah it's been a good year for movies so go support movie theaters yes amen to that thank you, know, you andrew you know i did win the one year the year where i didn't fucking pay a single thing attention that's right. I forgot. <laughs> and every other year, every other year, I'm like, all right, I'm in this. This is my year. Fucking caca poo poo. I'm but, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, this is always fun. You know, uh, I always love, uh, you know, getting all excited and then, you know, feeling empty inside when I get fucking like nothing right. But anyway, well, it is all for fun anyway. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, everybody else. Yeah. Thank and thank you, you, Jordan Farrell. Well, I'm glad to be uh, joined here, even if I arrived very late due to some very fucked up circumstances. But just like this fortune cookie, I predict that there will be winners and there will be losers. So uh, you can follow me on my socials. Uh, I have my YouTube channel that has um, my short films. And some of my short films happen to be on the Tiger Paws Entertainment channel as well. And stay tuned further because me and Tony got something cooked up for you in the future. Ooh. There are good Terminators oh, yeah. and there are bad Terminators. I can't, I can't work this. <clears throat> Dang right. I can't work this at all. Nah. Nope. Stay tuned for the Oscars predictions results. We will meet up after the award show this Sunday night. So after the award show is done, that's pretty much when we'll all meet up. We will see how many is right, how many is wrong. And then of course, we'll talk about like who gets first place, like like what first place gets, what second place gets. And, and you know, pretty much the usual stuff every year. This is 22 Tiger Dude, AK Tony here with Brian, Jackson, Henry, Andrew, and Jordan. And, and Diego Coya too. Thank you, Diego. And don't forget Forget that all of us will always have time. Tiger yeah. Unless you want to kill a tiger. <laughs> Please be sure to comment down below your predictions for the Academy Awards. 2024 i really want to read what you all are predicting um i think it's always fun when i see what others predict so please leave in the comments i would love to read them and thank you all once again for watching <laughs>